Hi, CEP812. This is Dan Murphy. I'm going to demonstrate the well-structured problem of life cycle in elementary biology um, using Shepard software. I found the Shepard software game uh, searching through Aaron Klein's Kleinspiration blog. Uh, most of you have been there, I'm sure. Um, and the reason I chose this particular game is that it's easy to use, it gives students options and multiple attempts at demonstrating their knowledge. Um, as you can see over here, we've got some game, the game itself, a little introductory movie, which I'm not going to show because it's boring. I'm just kidding. It's really fascinating. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at the game. Okay. One of the reasons I like this is it gives students a option, such as the frog, the butterfly, and the bird. Um, so we can start with the butterfly. Um, this problem requires students to just recall the facts and put them in a specific order. The reason I think this tool is better than any other tool I could find is that with the, the basic traditional worksheet model, you would be given this cycle and you would have to put the eggs, the butterfly, the chrysalis, the small and the full grown caterpillar in the correct place. Well, most students would be able to do this, but they might have trouble with some of the middle things. They'd obviously know eggs go first, yay. And they'd know that butterfly goes last, so they might put the egg first and the butterfly, see what we can't do? I can't put it in here. So I have to be able to go in order all of the five steps. And that's what makes this a great opportunity to solve a well-structured problem. Because we're giving students more than one opportunity, for example, if I put the chrysalis next, uh-oh, I can't do it. Notice how it tells me I have to go in this particular order. And here we go. So it kind of gives a little video, and it asks, how did you do? Oops, try again. I made three mistakes. So it's telling me that I screwed it up and that I have to give it another try. So now I go the correct order. I almost messed it up. Okay. If you go in the correct order, it will show you in the circle that you're going in the correct order. Hey, I completed it perfectly, okay? So as I said, the best thing about this is that not only does it give you many opportunities to correct yourself, but it also allows you to do it only in one way. We talked about a well-structured problem being one that has one answer to each question that's correct, and this does this perfectly because you have to get each step correct in the correct order. All right, so that's about it. Um, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Everybody, I'll see you soon. Um, keep it up, CEP12. Love hearing from you.